this week on the uh, Bart cast, we got um, an interview with somebody. We got news and we got um all right let's just like roll the intro or something roll my intro come on all right good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Bart cast. Uh, my name is Bart. I'm joined here by my. Um, uh, uh, what's your name again? Sir, uh, my name's Andy. All right. Yeah, that's right. I got my buddy Andy here to do some research when I need some data on some stuff. And that's about it. Uh, I used to have more people on this show but they all left and I have no idea why I guess they just don't like the show anymore um yeah alright guys we got a wonderful show for you here today uh we're gonna start off with some news all right, roll the roll the news roll the news intro roll the roll the Rand. Uh, what was your name again? Andy, sir. All right. Well, this is the news section of the show where I go over some of the recent news. That has transpired in our great country of United States of America. And I talk about it. So we got, hold on, let me, um, the I people that this is some new source. I don't know what the, the I people have infiltrated. The, our great country of the United States um, recently and um, there it says here that they're gonna keep coming until they find a new planet to live on that's what it says in the news article and and I mean I just want to talk about this because the I people and I by I people by the way if you didn't know, maybe you're listening here from like, I don't know, China or something. Uh, some people actually say that the I people were actually a fabrication in the Chinese laboratories to make the U.S., the, the U, our great country of the U.S. of America, um, more diverse and thus making us a weaker country. That's what some people have said. Not my words, not my words, mind you. I We keep it politically neutral on this show here. But I just wanted to talk about this because the I people, so not the people with eyes, because everybody's got at least two of them, right? Well, some of them got one, uh, like pirates uh, with the eye patch and stuff, you know? Or some people have no eyes. Um, they're blind, right? Uh, well, some blind people actually have eyes that just don't work. But some people actually don't have eyes. Anyways, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the actual eye people. You know, the ones that came from outer space few years ago uh, or as I mentioned before some people think they were made in a Chinese laboratory anyways actually actually uh, Andy was your name right can we look that up look what up sir 
What the? What, what do I need to look up? What do you need to look up? Am I speaking Spanish to you, boy? What the hell do I pay you for? Sir, sir, I'm an unpaid Surely intern. it isn't that hard to just look up if the I people were made in a Chinese laboratory. Right, I'll, look, I'll look it up, I'll look it up. Yeah, it says here that the uh, theory that I people were made in a Chinese laboratory is completely false. What side did you read that um, on, boy? Actually, on the U.S. government website, uh, it says that uh, these the people who think this way are just fooling themselves and trying to stir up controversy for the sake Absolute of controversy. Absolute bullshit, boy. Everybody knows that the Chinese are up to something, whether that is I people or that coronavirus. Get your head in check, man. God damn. Anyways, um, I just wanted to talk about the I people and how they are a detriment to this glorious country of the U.S. of America. All right. They have settled in our towns and our cities and are taking our jobs from us with their eyes. Of course, the I people have better eyesight than any of us. So any observational job occupation that doesn't require arms or legs they have all taken them. They're t they have taken all our jobs. They've taken all of our money. They've taken our houses, but they will never take our freedom. Anyways, um, that's that's my take on the app people. Uh, we're gonna have somebody on the show later on that is actually an app people expert. Uh, he is an expert in the study of app people. Um, and we're going to have him on the show later. So be, be, uh, on the lookout for that. And I think that about concludes our news section of the podcast. Uh, I think I talked about news enough. Everybody of course knows that all of the news outlets of today are corrupt and paid for by the Chinese government to, uh, make us paranoid about I don't fuck no I people or something or other stuff like the corona virus um yeah they're the they're they're the ones who who uh god damn I, I just can't talk today for some fucking reason maybe it's this guy I've got here with me Andy messing me all up with his stupid Stupid research. God damn it, Andy. I ask you for one simple thing to do, and you can't do it. What the hell is up with sir, that? Sir, I don't know why you're bashing me so much. I'm literally just an unpaid intern paid here. Did I ask to, you to speak, to boy? Stuff. And I I did what you asked, and you got a nothing answer, and that has nothing we, to do with me. We run a professional I mean, show here, and I'm not going to go. providing an answer for you. I'm not gonna let some stupid kid tell me what to do, all right? All right, okay, sorry, sir. That's what I thought. Anyways, let's go to Twitter, where I asked you some uh, questions. Well, I didn't ask you a question. You guys asked questions, because this is the Q&A section of the podcast. Cue my Q&A music. Andy, what the fuck do I pay you for? Uh, again, I'm, uh, I'm an un unpaid intern. Yeah, okay, here's the music. Alright, I got my first question here on my iPhone, telephone, mobile telephone. Real handy devices. I bought one last week. All right, this first question here comes from at Vli Vlishnikov. Fucking Russian mafia up in here. We actually have a member of the Russian mafia asking me a question. This is great. This is uh, awesome. But he asked the question, 
What if you want to go to the library, but there are no books? Now, to be fair, that is quite a good question right there. I mean, what do you do in a library when there are no books to be read? Surely you go to the library for books. To tell you the truth, this is actually quite a hard question for me to answer because I don't go to the library. I don't believe in books. I think they're a fabrication of the government to make us dumber with their fancy words and stuff like that. It means we have less time to focus on what actually matters in our society. So I don't read books. So this is a hard question for me to answer. But if you want some honesty out of me, I personally think you should just not go to the library when there are no books. If there are no books, the library wouldn't exist anymore because it will lose its corrupt government driven business model so there is an answer for you all right our next question comes from uh Zhirishnikov. got another member of the KGB on the podcast but his question is rank all the Genesis albums. Now, I don't know what a Genesis is. Uh, is It's a sad album, so I'm assuming that it's some kind of rock band. And I mean, I love myself some rock, Christian rock to be precise, uh, I love my, what's it, uh, Andy, Andy. <laughs> yeah, sir. What the hell were you doing? Uh, I fell asleep, sir. I've had a really long day, a really long day at the office today. God damn it. Kids these days don't know how it is to work a proper job in their life. Yeah, this is this is not a proper job though. I'm an unpaid intern. Society these days really should be teaching these kids a, a lesson. Anyways, Andy, I have a question for you. I know this is a Q&A session and I'm supposed to be giving the answers to the questions. But I'm going to ask you, what is like a what is Genesis what is a Genesis? Uh, yeah, I already looked it up in advance because I knew you were going to ask that. Uh, it says here, Genesis are an English rock band formed at Char Charterhouse School, Golden, Missouri in 1967. The band's most commercially successful lineup consisted of keyboardist Tony Banks, uh, bassist Mike Rutherford and drummer... Hold on, Phil hold Collins. on, hold on there a second, buddy. English rock band... What do they mean by that? Is that like the England place on the other side of the yeah, world? Yeah, from the, the United Kingdom. Well, goddamn. Right as I thought, they were on the right path. Uh, with them being a rock, rock band and such. Why did they have to be goddamn British? Listen, in my personal opinion... The only people in the world who do rock the right way are American artists, right? So you got, I don't know, bands like the Beatles. They really did rock properly, and they're a, full, a, a full-blooded American rock band. Same with, like, the, the Rolling Stones, with the guys that are so big, they can only be American, right? Because we are always doing the biggest things possible. That's And that's why we have the biggest rock bands. Now, I don't know what this Genesis music is. 
and to be honest with you, I don't care to find out. But if they're English, I can just write them off as some sort of fraud corrupted by the government to make propaganda music. All right, next question. Uh, we got Twitter handle S. W hold on. What is this name? So we got with the Twitter handle at Y underscore Yane. Don't know about that name. And he asks for me to rank all of the uh, Lemon Demon albums in order. Now, just like with the last question, I don't know what the hell a Lemon Demon is. Sounds like some kind of creature from down below in hell that was sucking a lot of lemons. Or maybe, you know how when you go to hell, there's like, you got punished for the whole of your rest of your existence, which is eternal, of course, in hell. You know how you get punished in a certain way? I think the lemon demon makes you suck on a lemon for all eternity in hell. And I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm not going to go rank the albums of a demon. All right. I'm a Christian. I am a man of God and I am not prepared or willing to let such a spawn of Satan onto my podcast. All right. Next question. All right. So this one comes from at Twitter handle at RUT 5000. Weird name. But he says, he, he asks, Radio shows, question mark. Now, I find this really compelling because what I'm kind of doing right now, if you really think about it in your head with your brain, is I'm doing a radio show right now. You can't see what I'm doing here in the studio unless you watch the video version on Vimeo. But for most of you who are listening on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, uh, what other services are there? Podcast app. Y'all are not seeing me in the flesh. You know what I mean? So therefore, it could be classified as a radio show as I'm, while I'm not on the radio, you can't see me. So it's kind of like a radio broadcast. And of course, this isn't live. Well, for me, it's live, but for the people watching it, it, it ain't live. Andy, can, can you just look up what the definition of a radio show is so I can check if this is accurate? All right. Uh, a radio program or radio show is a segment of content intended for broadcast on the radio. It may be a one-time production or part of a periodically recurring series. A single program in a series is called an episode. All right. Well, maybe not quite what I imagined. Because I just saw that there's, you kind of need to be on a radio for it to be a radio show. Uh, so, but I mean, it's still kind of a radio show, right? Like, this is an episode, and uh, it's not on the radio, but it's kind of like the ri All right, well, I think I've made my point clear here. I'm doing a radio show that's not on the radio. That is my conclusion from this. All right. And that was all of the questions that came in today. Um, 
really just bad questions today half of them were about ranking albums from artists that i have no idea who they are one of them is a demon one of them is a british english uk based corporate fucking corrupt government controlled organization designed to brainwash us with his british music i didn't know i had such dumb viewers listeners i mean this is a radio show of course we're not viewing anything here all right let's take a little break and we'll be right back to you after these messages full disclaimer sorry to break the immersion but i'm not actually sponsored by audible i will get in trouble if i don't say this so yeah sorry to break your immersion but there you go and now i would like to take a moment to thank audible for sponsoring today's podcast episode as you guys probably already know i don't read books i think they're products of the government to deceive us and to make us as a society more dumber however i cannot say the same for audiobooks um audible has a wide selection of books to listen to on your airpods or your whatever headphone device you use it's a really good service um um get audible today for free at audible.com slash uh bart code and use code bart at checkout to get your first three months of audible for free wait i thought it said free at the beginning hold on it's all i thought it said like free forever well anyways thank you audible for sponsoring today's podcast episode and let's move on to the next section all right welcome back to the show um hope that ad break didn't cause everybody to click off of the video as they usually do um right so we got our last section of the podcast today um we got an interview with an expert on the area of the i people i mentioned earlier in my podcast when i talked about them in the news so i want everybody to clap and give a big hand everybody on the production team you better start clapping for this guy because he knows what's up everybody give it up for richard mcbeast oh wow thank you guys i am glad to be here today well that's great richard or should i call you dick I never know with these people named Richard. You can just call me uh, call me Richard, that's fine. All right, Richard. The I people expert. Uh, or so they say. Uh, that that is actually my my actual profession. I got um, uh, a college degree in uh, in eye science. Well, Richard, I am glad to have you on the show today. Um so I just wanted to ask you for this first question is what threat do the i people pose to our society uh, well uh, mr mr bart uh actually the i people are great for society there are studies that have been conducted that actually show that uh areas with a higher population of i people among the general population actually are more prosperous and are more economically uh you know going better economically so actually if you really think about it the i people sh- all right now okay now i'm gonna stop you right there 
pal, buddy old pal. I thought you were an I people expert, and by that you were an I people anti I people person. Uh, if I'm an expert in I people, why why would I ever say that? Well, I literally study them for a living. I mean, there's just this certain stigma among my uh my my ring, you know, social gathering ring of friends that I have, mostly from other podcasts. Uh, you got the Greg podcast. You yeah, got yeah. The, I don't need to know all the names of the bloody podcasts you are, you are a part of, please. All right, man. You got to stop it with the attitude, man. You you got a bad attitude on my show, and if you're not careful. I'm gonna kick you out. Sir, sir, that is very rude. I I just came here to state my state my opinion on the matter and actually present you with some hard facts about I people and how they're not really that may that be, sir. But I gotta say, I hate them I people taking our jobs in the observational spectrum of the job market. Every job that uses your eyes primarily like observers uh and you know those other kinds of professions they're the people the eye people from outer space mind you these people are from outer space this is not even like some mexicans moving in or something like that this is actual outer space people they got a whole planet they can just go to if they wanted to. Instead, they're settling here in the U.S. of America, taking our jobs and taking our money. Uh, sir, I actually want to point out that uh, they don't have a planet to return to. Uh, they It got blown up by the food people uh, a few years ago, and now they're come, they came here to find a new life and to also... Uh, wait until a new planet is built for them to live yeah, on. Yeah, I know all that. But still, they could be go just go to another planet, right? Why do they need to settle, first of all, on our planet, the Earth? Like, why do you need to do that? And second of all, why is it in my backyard? Do, do you have a eye people problem in your backyard, sir? Well, as a matter of fact, Richard, I do. Uh, some eye people moved into my backyard a few days ago, and since then, I haven't been able to sleep. They just keep staring at uh, me from my window. Well, that, that is cer certainly unfortunate that you've had such a negative experience with the eye people. Personally, I've had a lot of fun with the eye people. They're great party goers, and they are very cooperative, cooperative in, in research uh, research projects that I do. Um, maybe if you tried actually talking to them properly, maybe they will be uh, more inclined to have a nice conversation with you and actually get to know you. And they might be nicer to you and not stare at you from their <laughs> through your window. Do you just laugh at my situation? No, no, sir. It was like a light chuckle. I might have, you know. I might have uh, uh, fumbled up my improv a little bit. Get and it caused, caused me to talk out a little bit. of my studio. I do not want you here anymore. So, sir, there's, right, really no, there's really no need to scream Dick, at me. Whatever your name is, get out of my studio. There's really, I you don't want to hear this just have shit a about conversation. the I people being nice or whatever bullshit like that. You gotta go. Okay, you I'll, gotta I'll go, get go. out of uh, here. I'm I gonna leave. make okay, you get I'll, out I'll of go, here, I'll go. pal. Uh, goodbye. Go goodbye, sir. Go Have a good day, sir. God damn. That is by far the worst guest I've ever had on the bar podcast thus far. Who invited this goddamn liberal on my podcast? Uh, sir? What is it now, Andy, you stupid, lazy-ass piece of shit? Uh, first of all, that's not very nice. Uh, second of all, I actually invited him to come on the podcast. I think it would he, he, he would provide a very good, uh, different perspective on the I people. I think it's very necessary for people to be offered different perspectives 
in a podcast environment and not just oh my. live in this echo chamber. Andy, are you opinion. one of those liberals too? Goddamn stupid brainwashed uh, government but sir, like, liberal uh, guy man i can't take this anymore you know what you get out of here as well you're fired you ain't getting paid anymore pal are you saying i can leave i am saying you can leave oh yeah yes. all right pack oh, your yes. stuff Fuck parking yes. lot car man, get out of here with this shit out anymore oh my fucking god and for the record guy I'm a unpaid intern. I don't even get paid. Fucking god damn it. I'm gonna go. Fuck you. Um. All right. I guess I'm the only one left on this show. And uh, my guest was a dumb liberal, so I sent him out of here. And Andy was also a dumb liberal, so I sent him to pack his bags. He's not working here anymore. Or was he not working here in the first place? It's kind of confusing to me if you ask me. God damn, he was he was kept repeating like he was an unpaid intern or something. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure he's just saying that to boost his numbers and get paid. But I think this is a pretty good point to end the podcast episode right here. Uh, Andy, play my outro music. Right. Um, I guess we don't have outro music today. I just fired the guy who was supposed to do that. Uh, I see ya, I guess. Goodbye.